Welcome back. We're so busy chatting, we almost forgot that we had to stop so that we could start again talking about cycling and talking about athletics in our beautiful home state of Utah. With me this evening is a dude who is making his name known, actually quite well known already in the cycling community, but a name that I think that we're going to hear a lot more about on a very large scale. He's from right here in Salt Lake City. He rides for GT Bikes and is definitely getting results and gearing up for a big year starting next year. This is Joey Foresta. How are you, man? Welcome Good. to the show. Thank you. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thanks for coming. Uh, I guess we should start out with a little shout out to Kyle McGinnis from here at Park City Television for making the connection between us. So I guess the first thing before we talk about your early years, uh, tell folks about your specialty in cycling and kind of where, what level you're at right now. Yeah, well, um, so I race dual slalom and downhill. Uh, I race pro in dual slalom and um, expert in, in downhill. So cool. So I, I understand, and, and your dad Steve is here with you. We had a little bit of a chat, and I, I really enjoyed the smile on his face as he recalled your earliest sort of connecting with cycling. Talk a little bit about your early memories and what was it about cycling that, that really really got you <laughs> um, I don't know I don't know actually um, yeah it's just ever since I got off the uh, training wheels I've loved it and uh, started racing BMX when I was about four and since then I've just been uh, taken more serious and then moved to ma uh, mountain biking when I was like seven ish and since then just been working hard and uh, taking it as far as I can so Talk a little bit about about the importance of family and, and, and the structure and support because, I mean, there's tons of sports that are really require a, a whole family support network, but obviously with cycling, I mean, it's a very gear-heavy sport. Talk yeah. about that side of it with your mom and dad and, and the way that they've supported you. Yeah, it's huge. I mean, they, they make it a lot more fun. I mean, I... I always see parents over there yelling at their kids to do better and and they've never this is crazy. yeah and they've never put pressure on me and they've always made it fun they've never they've never made it about winning and um, I think that's a big part of not not getting bored of it you know so that's they've been a huge part of everything I've done well and in the end the drive has to come from inside anyway right yeah Talk a little bit, if you would, about the the process as you're, uh, you know, as you're five, six, seven years old, and, and you you've made this connection to to the sport and loving to to be a part of it more than, as you were saying, just riding your bike around the neighborhood. Um, what cycling is in 2010 or 2016, for that matter? It, it's such a bigger sport. There are so. I mean, you talk about dual slalom. I'm a huge fan of of any kind of head-to-head -head racing, and and dual slalom I think is an example of a discipline within off-road cycling that's still, relatively speaking, fairly new. Talk about how you figured out cross country versus downhill versus all of these different events. Um, well, so my coach Cody Kelly and Mike Kelly, they. Um they were coaching me in BMX and they switched over to mountain biking so um, they took me to go um, to go try it out with them and I just loved it and downhill was the sport and uh, yeah I just loved it and then um, dual slalom and downhill are kind of linked together in sure. a way and um, so everything just kind of led to another and just brought me to where I am right now so and talk a little bit about fitness because my only experience with cycling as a grown-up is with road cycling and a little bit of uh, mountain biking I, that I guess would be considered or classified as cross-country. Talk a little bit about fitness for downhill because in a lot of ways the only similarity, dude that's sick, <laughs> in some ways the only similarity is that you're on two wheels. I mean, the, the bikes themselves are very different. They're, they're engineered for different reasons and for different strengths. Talk about fitness as well. Yeah, fitness is huge. I mean, you definitely need, your body needs to be there. Like, um, you need the upper body strength when you're going through the rocks and you need like the core stability and 
obviously the legs for pedaling. And um, yeah, it's huge. I have a strength trainer, Deacon Andrews with CC Strong. And um, yeah, I work out in the gym with him like two or three days a week. And yeah, it's a big part of... And has that changed in the last year, two years? When did you start working in the gym as well? Yeah, um, I've always kind of worked out in a sense, but this year is like the first year I've taken it serious and like been legit about it. Like, right. So, <laughs> um, yeah. And is that, I mean, do you... How do you approach that? Because it sounds like it's been a change in that, sure, you worked out, but it's fun to ride the bike. It's always fun to develop skills, but the gym, uh, fun isn't usually the F word that gets used <laughs> with respect yeah. to the gym. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, I mean, he makes it a bit, he makes it fun, honestly. Um, but I'm always in the gym with my sister and um, that makes it a, kind of fun too. Cool. And we're always trying to wanna... and, and And she's involved as well. Yeah, she um, yeah she's national number one girl in in BMX, which is huge, and um, yeah she's she's killing it. She's awesome. That's very cool. Yeah, so it's really good. We kind of push each other, and um, yeah, it it works out good. So that's great. Let's do this. Let's take a little break. I want to talk about the big plans that you've got for next year, and maybe if I can get you to look a little further out into the future and <laughs> describe the big goals. The, the big goals are uh, going to World Cups for sure. Very cool. Let's do yeah. it. So we'll take a quick break. We'll come back. Somebody's excited to talk about World Cup. Joey Foresta, uh, GT Bicycles. We'll be right back after this. Please stay tuned. Welcome back. We're talking about families, passions, in this case, sports, specifically of the two-wheeled variety. He's from Salt Lake City. He's making a name for himself in the world of bicycles. And next year is going to take a serious step up into the big leagues. I'm chatting with Joey Foresta. Welcome back, man. Thank you. So let's talk about where you're at this year and, and your preparations for next year. Yeah, um, the season is kind of getting to an end and starting to wind down. Um, yeah, but this year has been awesome. First year pro. Um, yeah, but next year I think is going to be a pretty big year. Um, hopefully going to do a World Cup or two. Nice. Um, yeah, which is really cool. And uh, that will be a really good experience. And, yeah. and you'll see all the top players in the sport at an event like that, huh? Yeah, and it will be weird because, like, I will be, like, the total um, – just like the smallest person there and right. I'll be able to see how all these different guys race and practice and do all this stuff so it's going to be a big learning experience it'll be cool and and what does it take for somebody like you I mean obviously the easy answer is result but what does it take for somebody like you especially at a at a young age to to get into those ranks um yeah I mean like just hard work. I mean, you got to work hard, and um, that's kind of an obvious one, but but it's true. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of work, and and you have to you have to be doing good to to do it. But um, also, that's not only the that's not the only thing that sponsors look at. They also look at like personality and like how you talk to people and sure. do that kind of thing. So um, yeah, it's a lot of different things. And, and let's talk a little bit about sponsorship. I know that, that cycling is a very expensive sport, but it's also a sport where having associations for manufacturers with a great athlete like yourself can be really, really important for what it says about the brand. Talk about kind of that business side of things. You're a young guy still, yeah. <laughs> but, but you're kind of in business for yourself, are you not? Yeah, exactly. Um, now it's, it's kind of a lot of it is social media. Sure. Um, so true. Yeah, like I have to be on top of Instagram, Facebook, right. all that stuff. And, yeah, sponsors really look at that. I mean, especially when there's a lot of people looking at your stuff and they see what what you're saying about the product. And, yeah, there's yeah, that's probably the biggest thing. So the, so the tale of the stat is how many followers on Instagram? Uh, like 2,900. Pretty good, pretty yeah. good. And and let's talk about sponsors. Obviously, you've got your your GT shirt on, but let's give a little love to the other folks who've been helping you out in your career. Yeah, um, 
I've got it in quite a few over the years, but uh, like the three main ones are uh, GT bikes. Um, NV Composites, they're actually local in Ogden. Oh, great. Um, and also Lake Town Bicycles, they're a local bike shop down in, uh, down in the valley. And yeah, I mean, all those guys, they've been taking care of me since as long as I can remember. Um, and, that, and that's really cool. That definitely is a big thing, just being with me since, since I can remember. So those are, those are the big guys. Very cool. And uh, what's your what's your off season look like? I'm sure you're probably in the gym a bunch. Do you ski? Do you worry about? I mean, obviously, downhill is a dangerous sport to begin with. So I imagine skiing is probably okay. Cross training? Are you a skier? Yeah, uh, I am, but I don't really ski. Um, my off season is pretty busy, though. I mean, with school and training, and then um, also there's a few races. I travel to a few races during the winter. And then um, I also do indoor BMX races with my sister. So um, that's pretty much my off-season tri uh, off training, and that, that keeps me pretty busy during the winter. So. All bikes all the time. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Sure. Well, let's, give, let's do the social media shout-out. Tell folks where they can find out more about you and where they can follow you on social media. Yeah, uh, on Instagram at JoeyMTB and uh, Facebook, just Joey Foresta. Very cool. And just one R in Foresta. Yeah. For forest with an A on the end. Forest with an A. Yep. Man, it's great to meet you. Congratulations yeah. on your great success so far. But most importantly, looks like the next couple of years is going to be a big jump for you, huh? Yeah, definitely. Thank you. Very cool. Best wishes. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice and to meet you, too. Come back and see us again. Yep, definitely. Joey Foresta, GT Bikes. Check him out. Joey MTB on Instagram. The kid can ride.